Hi and welcome. How are you today? Yeah, a little bit gloomy today, but that's fine. I hope you're all staying warm and dry wherever you are. And um, today in Spot on Feng Shui, I want to dive into another topic. So maybe you always had a feeling that plants, the plants that you have around you make a difference. Maybe you have a, a certain relationship with plants and maybe with certain plants. And um, so you, you were right if you felt that it made a difference. They do that. And this is what I want to dive into today with this Spot on, spot on Feng Shui episode about indoor plants. So I'm Sandra, the founder of the Academy of Making Sense, in case you don't know yet who I am. And I invite you to dive deeper into the world of Feng Shui and Chinese metaphysics with me. So today we're looking into indoor plants. Because the thing is, you know, if you don't like what is happening for you, if you feel stuck or you feel you can't change yourself, well, then change the environment <laughs> and your indoor plants can have a major impact on how we are feeling. Um, on my research to this episode, I found um, much more material than I thought. So we're going to have two episodes. And this episode today is about air purifier. It's about the chi, how to enhance the chi, um, the quality of the chi around you. And the second episode will be about yin and yang. Certain plants have certain qualities. So there is no such thing as a good or a bad feng shui plant. There is just such a thing as not apt for the situation you're in or not contributing to your goals, what you want to achieve in that area of your home or in that room. So, of course, an office room um, likes different plants than a bedroom, for instance. So this is what we're going to do in the next episode. In this episode today, we're going to look into how to enhance the chi in your home. How, And that's where we're looking into air purifier. And, of course, you can buy an electric one. And they're really, really um, in vogue at the moment. But you can use plants for that. Plants can purify the air. And some do it more than others. So I want to invite you today if, um, to come with me. And I actually made a collage for that. Oh, my God, that is such a shame. I can't use it. I made this one for you. Look at that. Most of the plants that I'm going to um, I'm gonna uh, talk about today are on this collage, but actually I can't use it because I don't have the backdrop for that. So hmm, shame, but you will see. I will put it in the notes, the names and everything, so you can always look it up if you want. So from a point of air purifying, we are looking especially at the fact that some plants help you more to remove harmful substances than others. So one of the really, really good um, plant that helps you to remove those harmful substances is actually um, the peace lily, the Spartifilum peace lily. And the energy of the peace lily, if you look at it, is directed upwards. So that upwards um, um, energy, that is uplifting. That's what the peace lily is. If you look at the spider plant, which is also helpful for removing harmful substances, but that energy is a little bit more downwards. Do you know what I mean? So the peace lily has an uplifting upwards energy, harmonizing, balancing, or it helps remove harmful substances like, uh, like alcohol, acetone, and formaldehyde. So that is really um, a wonderful plant to have with. And it's, you know, even if you look at it, it looks, um, the, the, the deep green color, it looks really peaceful and has just one or the other um, flower in it. So that's really, really good. Um, another one that is um, helping removing harmful substances, I said that before, so the, the spider plant is one of them too, with a different kind of energy than the, um, than the peace lily. Um, the epipremnum, um, I learned you call them golden potos in English. So that one actually has, apart from removing harmful substances, it's really good for office spaces because it helps balance the brain hemispheres. If you look at the leaves of those uh, golden potos, um, they even look like two halves, don't they? So they help 
balancing. So if you have an issue with being too rational or being too emotional, that could be a plant that helps you balance that out. But you have to be aware with this once that the sap can irritate the skin. So if you've got easily irritated skin, be careful when you when you cut it or when you just do something with that one. You need to be aware of that one. Another one that is really good with um, toxins like formaldehyde is the fern. So the nephrolepsis, especially uh, a fern is very, very harmonizing for the nervous system. So this is a plant that really, really can also balance a room out beautifully with the fern you only have to be um you, you need to realize it loves to take on the dust so it needs to be dusted or put out in the rain um from time to time to keep it fresh and keep it clean because it would be counterproductive if you have an allergy or anything it really collects uh, the dust and everything but this is really good against formaldehyde so it's also a good plant for an office room for instance um most of the palm trees, like the Arica palm, the uh, Dracene, and the Kensia palm or Hawea palm, um, they have really positive energy, and they all, especially the Hawea, also helps removing harmful substances. But with palm trees, we're going to have a look into them in the next episode more when we're going into the yin and the yang, which of the plants are energizing, which are calming down more than that. Um, Another one that I really like and the really is good for removing the substances is the snake, snake plant, Sanseveria. It kind of doesn't matter which of them, uh, way, the tree color or the two color or what, which one ever, the snake plants are really, really good. Energy-wise, again, we're looking into that more in the next episode, but you can see that this is uplifting, but it has the sharp edges. So it's different from the peace lily, which has the soft edges and has this, this soft, calming character. So it's definitely more yin. Um, but the snake plant is definitely a little bit more aggressive. Um, so you would have that maybe in an area where you need to uplift the energy but really have um let's just say an office area would probably be better suitable than um, a bedroom or a nice cozy sofa corner but you you can feel into that another plant that i really like is, it is good and absorbing but the main thing of that one and it's the, it's the monstera which I learned you call Swiss cheese plant. <laughs> that one is peace giving and harmonizing. It's really it has a really nice effect on you um, to have that in the room. You need to have the space for that. And with that one, you really need to be careful and need to clean it from time to time because it also loves to collect the dust. So um, I will put all of those plants down into the um notes and i'll just have a look that i didn't forget oh yes one of my favorites but again that's that will also be a topic next time aloe vera the aloe is an energizing plant but it's also a healing plant those of you who have aloe aloe will probably also like i use them for your skin you can no problem at all it's a little bit spiky and I want to go into that topic in the next episode where we're looking into spiky plants versus soft plants, where we're looking into um, uh, plants that are more, a little bit more abundant. So we can also already see what the, what the topic is with those plants. And we're looking deeper into that in the next episode. But this one is really about um, how can you purify your air? How can you enhance the chi as in the quality um, nearly every plant will enhance the chi but the quality especially in office rooms like next to the printer for instance would be a place to be to put those um, two more i have but i don't have too much um, information about those is the so-called chinese evergreen um, the diefenbachia and the english ivy the hedera um, i'm not too familiar with those two so I didn't have them I experienced all of the other plants I've told you before and I love them um, of course now with the house sitting um, I don't have them with me of course <laughs> but um, these are really palms and uh, trees and plants that I can totally recommend to have 
in your room, in your house to really enhance the quality of your chi. I hope that was helpful. And I'm looking forward to the next episode where we're looking into yin versus yang, what plants have what quality and how can you enhance those qualities in your home. Beautiful. So this is me, Sandra, with Spot on Feng Shui indoor plants for your Feng Shui home. And let me know in the comments if that was helpful. Looking forward to the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.